9-11 remains one of the worst disasters in history. Although, how would you feel if you were to find out that 9-11 was an inside job by the government? This conspiracy theory is extremely popular due to its logical reasonings and the numbers of outstanding evidence. Many people living in the United States happen to believe this theory, but hey, it's not like the government hasn't done some sneaky shit before. People believe that the government planned this attack to only purposely made it seem like it was the Muslims. Take a look at this video of one of the towers collapsing. Tell me if you notice something. Didn't catch it the first time? Look at it again. Look at it very closely. The building is collapsing as if it's a controlled demolition. Theorists also point out that the fire was not hot enough to melt the steel within the building. And not only that, explosive material was found directly on the Ground Zero site, which is formerly known as the World Trade Center. Take a quick look at this image. See the comparison of how big the plane was and how small the hole was? Many think it was more of a missile rather than a plane. The fourth and final plane crashed into an empty field. Theories say the passengers fought back and overtook the hijackers, who had the original plans of crashing into crowds of people or onto a busy street. This is why the end result was the plane crashing onto the field. So now that I've told you all these things, does your view on 9-11 change now? Do you still originally think it was ISIS or do you think it's the shady ass government? Let me know in the comments below. The Mandela Effect is a term for which people remember or who have a false memory of a saying, detail, or event the wrong way. It's a term that came from Nelson Mandela, who everyone thought died back in the 80s but died prior in 2013. Many people think the Mandela Effect is due to the world having in an alternative universe or some stupid shit like that or that someone's going back into time and changing things around. There is a high number of evidence pointing to this. One of the most loved Disney movies of all time, Snow White, is a prime example. Do you remember Maleficent saying, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Well, I'm afraid that's not the actual quote. It's magic mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all. So, uh, uh I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I know, your childhood is ruined now. You're welcome, by the way. Star Wars is also guilty of this. Many remember the quote as, Luke, I am your father. Well, sorry to tell you, that's incorrect. Darth Vader actually says, no, I am your father. Personally, I don't really care for Star Wars, so I'm not really scarred by this. But for all of those fans out there, sorry to ruin your day. Just kidding, no, I'm not moving on. The New World Order is widely considered the biggest and most controversial conspiracy of all time. Most conspiracies draw back to the New World Order, one big government controlled by few. No one knows exactly who those select few are, but there are suspects and guesses, such as the Illuminati, businessmen, and even the British royal family are accused of being in the New World Order. This government was created to lure people into an isolated like state so they can be controlled and dominated. The New World Order is also known by theorists for limiting one's choices in education so that people can easily be more controlled. I won't speak any more on this theory due to legal issues, but I would like to know your opinions down below. One of the biggest accomplishments in world history was the Apollo moon landing on July 20th, 1969 but many people believed it was staged. Here's the deal. Supposedly, America didn't have the required technology to go through this, so they just thought, hey, why not fake it? Getting onto a stage set and faking the entire thing? Sounds simple enough. A lot of people tend to question the C mark, which happens to be a rock on the moon, which had a C carved onto it. Sure, it might be a coincidence or edited, but what if it was a prop? Also, in the photograph taken, you can see the flag waving. Um, last time I checked, there was no air on space, so how the hell is that possible? It just seems sketchy to me, but honestly, I'm neutral on whether it was staged or not. No one except the people who participated really know, so I'll just leave it to you guys. <laughs> Although there were other Illuminati organizations beforehand, the Bavarian Illuminati originated in 1776 by this dude right here. I won't say his name, Adam Wiener Schnitt. Adam Wit, Wit, White, 
Oh, Lord. Um, is that German? I don't wow, it is German. Wow, I should probably fucking know that. So, the founder was actually Adam Weisholt. Wow, Salvatore should know how to pronounce a German last name considering she's been speaking German for almost a year. Wow, stupid. Over time, it gained popularity and attention, even from the first president of the United States. Many confuse the Illuminati being the same as the New World Order, which is not the case. In fact, the Illuminati is only a fraction of it. The main task of the Illuminati is to operate low-key without others being aware of who or what is behind it. There have been many symbols that have a significant source in Illuminati. You know what I just realized? I've been sitting here recording, editing this video, and I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> they gonna come and get me. It's over. It's a wrap. Wow. Wow. We're done with this video. Uh-uh. No, I'm not trying to get taken away. I'm not trying to get my ass killed. No siree.